In Harmon Quest Season 2, Episodes 8 and 9, celebrity guest players Elizabeth Olsen and Rob Corddry assist our heroes on their journey to defeat the evil Celti. After being tricked into helping Grabble Gribble become the King of Forlona, the capital city of the realm, our heroes must work out how to navigate Celti's tricks and stop the evil obelisks to help save the people of the city. As we get closer to the Harmon Quest Season 2 finale, our heroes face new trials and tribulations, and though some friendships are torn apart in the process, other long-lost friends are reunited. But will Fondue Dan Harmon, Bior Erin McGarthy and Bone Weevil Jeff Davis be able to successfully defeat Selty? With the help of an escaped prisoner named Stirrup Elizabeth Olsen and Sandy the flirtatious barbarian Rob Cordry, they're able to get closer to the ultimate goal. Elizabeth Olsen in Episode 8, The Keystone Obelisk, actress Elizabeth Olsen admitted she only knew about fantasy role-playing from Ing Harmon Quest and Stranger Things, but you wouldn't have been able to tell during her episode of the series, which premiered earlier this month on VRV. Olsen took on the role of Stirrup, a jaded, angsty escape prisoner who had been jailed for burning down an entire barbarian village, sorry, Bior. Together, Stirrup and the gang acquire new Weapons with the help of the elderly former Queen Spencer Crittenden, including a small wooden dog named Higgins who tells only truths or lies, and four glass rings that come to one's aid in a crash landing. So clearly there's going to be a ridiculous need for them later in the story, after making their way into the bottom of the main obelisk, our heroes figure out the overly complicated which turned out to be not so complicated mystery of how to enter the secret control room, and even though they have a bit of success with their critical thinking and teamwork, in true harm and quest fashion, it seems as though their efforts just make matters worse. Rob Corddry in Episode 9, The Castle of Etelai, for comedian Rob Corddry, playing DD as a kid was a bit complicated, there were no good dungeon masters in his friend group so what did he and his friends do? They would just sit and draw their characters. A.K.A. You know Cordry has some amazing potential DD scenarios in his head that he's been waiting years to use. In Season 2, Episode 9 of Harmon Quest, Cordry takes on the role of Sandy the Barbarian from the Skull Tree clan, who we quickly learn was previously in a short-lived fling with Bior, but how does Sandy make his entrance? On the back of our favorite character, Charles the Dragon as Celtie's castle looms overhead, shooting down robotic evil mannequins from it's light beams, Charles brings our heroes up to the castle gate so they can try to stop the attack, Sandy. And be your split off from Bone Weevil and Fondue, who are still passive-aggressively angry with one another about their broken friendship except the passive part quickly goes away, and the two of them physically attack each other. Meanwhile, be your and Sandy are play wrestling in the other room and trying on exotic costumes in the armory, and we're actually really Please with Bior's well-deserved happiness at this point. The four of them are eventually able to unite and work together in unison, but Celtie's castle has other plans for our heroes, and the story takes an unexpected sharp turn. The entire second season of Harmon Quest is now in on VRV.co.